Sonic Frontiers is an open world Sonic game and as such it has a lot going for it. However, the abundance can also become a hindrance. The base loop starts out fun, but the game seems to have four or five islands. After the first island, you start to feel fatigue by all the springs and rails. Wall running is absolute mess. Other than that, the controls are fine. The second island is split by a huge canyon, which forces the players to halt. You play regular modern Sonic stages here and there, which are definitely a highlight of the game, as the open world just feels like a speed bump. You earn experience and combat quickly gains automatic combos option. After that, combos just involves repeatedly pressing the attack button until enemies die or change to a pose where you have a circle around them or chase them for a while or just wait until their attack is over. For other things like maximum ring capacity and speed, you have to collect these little stone people and turn them into attribute levels at larger stone people. Control-wise, there's nothing to complain, like I mentioned, and the game feels satisfying in large fields. However, I just wish the world offered a better playground, as the springs and rails get tiresome and slow down the fast pace. The difficulty can be changed on the fly, adjusting how many rings you drop and how many points you score. Of overall, the difficulty balance is great, but some missions that are time gated are absolutely frustrating. I stopped around 9 hours in as it started to become too repetitive. The high point was definitely the supersonic boss fight at the end of First Island. You are on a mission to save your friends on every island and by gathering that island's currency you can make them talk and tell useless stuff. Sometimes they even give you these time-gated frustrating missions to complete. Visually the game looks fine except for the extremely poor draw distance for 3D objects over the island. For example, when you are running on the level, platforms constantly appear on the air, making plotting your course horrible. I wish the game had more action stages, which are the main Sonic levels. I can't really recommend this to anyone except a huge Sonic fan or someone who really has nothing else better to play.